Hi everyone, welcome to Matt's Garage. So, don't say so. Hi everyone, welcome to Matt's Garage. While my uh, workbench is drying, I am going to start making a housing spreader for my Dana 44 axle, which there's other videos for on YouTube, so I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail, but basically, if this is your housing, I'm gonna use two quarter inch flat stock bars. Okay, with two holes drilled in each. One, two, one, two. Okay, and at the top of each bar is some tube facing th like this way, oriented this way. Some tube, and then some all thread that is bolted fixed to this bar. And then basically you, by turning these two nuts, you push this bar out this way. And I think it'll work. So there's the housing. I'm gonna take the uh, cover off and get to work. I've already had this off before, obviously. Whew! God, I love the smell of gear oil. What's nice is these can show you the whole uh, mounting because I can use this as a platform. The one video I saw Ryan, he spent so much time measuring the holes. I was like, it's already on the cover, dude. Well, don't make life harder than it has to be. Let's scrape just a little bit of the shoe. We kind of want this mating surface to be pretty clean. Yeah. Ooh, that is a gouge. Holy smokes. I've never seen that before. When you're building this thing, you want your bar to not come in too much because you want to be able to pull your old housing out or your uh, carrier out. That's the whole point, you know? So you want to make sure your, you know, the holes are right on the edge of that bar so you have plenty of room to pull the housing out. Obviously, it's got to go up far enough to clear the ring and pinion, the ring, not the pinion, the ring. You're going to clear the pinion. It's going to be okay. So I'm just measuring how much of the bar stock I need here. Uh, looking like, I think 11 inches? No. Let me think about this because there's going to be a bar here. You don't want it hitting that thing. So you actually want it to be well more than the actual housing. So I would say make it about 12 a foot. Make it a foot. And this is the all thread. Pretty basic. By the way, when you drill these out, stack them on top of each other, clamp them together, drill them out at the same time. That way both holes are exactly the same. Okay, I've got my two uh, bar stocks cut and I've marked the perfect center of them. Um, so now I'm gonna lay my uh, housing cover on top of it. Edge to edge, these holes are like 98 millimeters. Is that right? I can't see. It's half a 98. Half a 90 is 45, so 49 centimeters. So you throw that on 49. So now I just gotta figure out how far in I want this. That's what rulers are for, right? So I want it to be in about 13 millimeters in. So 13 millimeters in. Why am I using metric? Well, you know, when you're measuring stuff, it's not too bad actually. You know? Now, you can make these a little bigger than the actual bolt hole. It can be a little forgiving. I mean, it doesn't have to be 
perfect. The guy in the video made them like perfect and I don't... See that? Those are the holes you need to drill right there. One, two, and then I kind of uh, ground these flat so they were kind of true. Of course, I remember which direction. I... Anyway, so I'm going to clamp these together and then drill my holes. All right, let's see how we did, shall we? Well, my measurements were a little off. It's a good thing I went bad. I did a 5 16 hole. And that's fine because they're, you know, it's just pushing up against it. So it's not, you know, it's not, there's not a the shear value there. But that, that was pretty close there. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna actually build this as one piece and then cut it, and that way I know it's they're square to each other. Make sense? You want to move quick because you don't want to burn through. If you burn through this, you won't be able to get your uh, your all thread through it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Now I'm gonna let it cool. I'm gonna cut it. Separate it. And be good to go. We're really doing it, guys. We're really doing it. So we'll probably cut that off at uh, say 16 inches. Better to go long than short. You know what I'm saying? All right. Moment of truth here. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'm looking forward to finding out with you guys my subscribers. Well, that was pretty boring and frustrating, but it's done now. So, tighten this up. So, what do we have here? We've got two bolts here, right? And these are basically just grab it onto this arm, okay, and this arm, you know, if this was a little looser, this could, and this wasn't bolt it, bolted in, this would just slide right off, right? So these are going to push against this as I go, and then I should be able to just pull that, the um, carrier out. So I'm going to do the same amount of turns, right? So, um, Awesome! How sweet is that, man? I just made another tool. Love making tools. That's it. You see that? It was it went from not being able to do it to being able to do it. Now you want to take this tension off. Same way. Even Steven. That was awesome, man. Sick! I have my own tool. How cool is that? Oh man, what a rush. I don't know if that was gonna work, honestly. See you next time, Matt's Garage.